Yeah, buddy, or hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Leldrin, and this episode we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing my top 10 favorite weapons in Destiny 2. Now, I'm a little bit different than most people. I kind of like to go against the meta. There are a few weapons that I pick that are meta that a lot of people love, and there's a couple that I don't. So I want to jump right in here, go across a couple of weapons. If there's anything that you really like that you think are better weapons than these, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you like. So without further ado, let's get this thing started. Now, in Destiny 2, I've become a huge user of scout rifles. My favorite scout rifle right now is Nameless Midnight. This is something you get from finishing the story mode. Uh, you actually get it down in the tower. This gun is ridiculous. Considering it has really good impact, really good range, great stability, great handling, great reload speed, 16 in the magazine, and its projectiles create an area effect detonation. This gun is all around great for both Crucible and PvE. It fires really good if you have anything that gives you kinetic reload. This thing reloads like a dream. And it actually sounds really cool. I like this weapon because of a lot of reasons. It's kind of a two-shot headshot if you're in PvE, as long as it's like a regular uh, boss. And with a couple shots to the body, you can stagger opponents in the, in the Crucible. I love this weapon. Plus, if I can find an enemy here to shoot at, you'll see what kind of damage it does. This thing, also, I really enjoy the sound of the weapon itself, which sounds kind of stupid. But that's really important to me because the aesthetic of the entire game is kind of... Honestly, everything that you like should be in what you have for your weapons. You should like the sound, you should like the look, you should like all that. This gun is all of those things. Now, another scout rifle that's a little bit different, you might have a little bit of trouble getting your hands on, is going to be the Conspirator. The Conspirator is the raid scout rifle. I was really lucky with this weapon. I didn't think I was going to like it at first. I do love, however, that it's full auto. I love that the pre precision hits create an elemental damage explosion. This gun, same thing, is a lot of fun in the Crucible. It does a lot of damage, and the sound of it is different than, than any weapon except for any of the other rag weapons in the game. This gun also looks really, really pretty. So it's a lot of fun to pull out. You can kind of impress your friends. And as far as damage, it does a lot of damage. And it's a lot of fun because of that area of effect thing. And whenever you're killing any kind of bosses, the full auto is extremely, extremely handy. So hopefully you can get one of these two weapons. If you do have either one of these you like it, leave a comment down below. So next we're going to move on to pulse rifles. There are, honestly, I used to really love pulse rifles in this game. However, in Destiny 2, I'm not that big of a fan of pulse rifles anymore. But there's one that I feel like needs some attention, the Nightshade. The Nightshade is another weapon you can get from finishing the story mode. You can move fast with this weapon, and it also has uh, reloading after a kill grants increased damage, so reactive reload. The impact is negligible, but the range, stability, handling, and reload speed are all incredible. If you like pulse rifles, this is something you can get your hands on very, very easily, and it does a lot of damage. I also like the sound of this one, too. I like a lot of the mechanical-sounding weapons in this game, and the fact that this thing can kill pretty much with one little pull of the trigger is a lot of fun either in uh, pve and crucible it does pretty decent amount of damage it does not stagger opponents which is something i don't really like however with the other perks like uh reloading after a kill this thing if you're doing anything where people uh, bottleneck in certain areas this can be a lot of fun hurting all your enemies and getting them to uh kind of you know just die so the next thing we're going to move on to is going to be auto rifles. Now, my auto rifle choice is a little bit different. A lot of people love going with either the origin story, which I really love, or the uh, scathe lock, which is also a pretty decent weapon. I chose to go with the half and D. The half and D has a ridiculous amount of range, and it has a uh, outlaw for reloading. The stability is okay, but honestly, if you pull this gun just a couple times with the trigger instead of going full auto, treat it almost like it's a pulse rifle. This thing kills in the Crucible, and people don't even know what hit them. It's just a lot of fun to kill people with certain range, especially with an auto rifle, just to show you. And even if you pull down the trigger, as it goes, it gets more stable. I don't know if that's supposed to be like integral perk or what's going down, but this gun, with the sound of it, and the way it kills people at such far distances in the Crucible, this has become one of my favorite weapons, and I almost trashed it. Uh, one day in the Crucible, I accidentally had this weapon equipped, and I didn't even uh, have any other weapons um, in my inventory. I just didn't have time to pull out the app to switch stuff around. So I started playing along with it, and I really fell in love with this thing, mostly for the Crucible. For PvE, I will admit I still do enjoy the origin story. I wish this thing reloaded a little bit faster, but as far as how much damage it does at the range that it does it is way overbalancing any kind of its negative aspects, especially in the Crucible. So hopefully you can find the Hake half AMD. Another auto rifle you'll see a lot of people using is the Uriel's Gift. And while I love the Uriel's Gift, I actually prefer the Jiangxi AR-4. A, because it's different. B, because I like the stability better. And C, because I like the way this weapon looks better. And I hate going with the meta. I like killing people with stuff that they're like, what was that? What's the Jiangxi? So if you want to be different than the meta, if you aren't using the uh, 
Uriel's Gift. If you get one of these, do not throw it away. It's a lot better than most people give it credit for, and the stability is amazing with this weapon. So make sure you pick up one of these. Now, next weapon we're going to go for is something that a lot of people have been talking about, and it's going to be sidearms. I'm not a really big fan of sidearms, but when I got the Last Hope, especially with Zen Moment, this weapon became something that I kind of use a lot of times for fun, and in Crucible, this thing is a murderer. Uh, I never really tried sidearms until I started getting my butt kicked. Look at this guy running away from me. Until I got my butt handed to me in Crucible with a sidearm. And after that, I feel like I'm playing Ring Around the Rosie with this dude. Um, I started using the sidearms and I fell in love with them almost immediately. I don't really use them as much as I should. However, this one is ridiculous. The sheer amount of damage it does at the range that it does with the great reload and the stupid stability is definitely, definitely, definitely something worth keeping if you get one and you kind of enjoy sidearms. So if you do, make sure you keep a hold of the last hope. My next one we're going to move on to is hand cannons. Now there's one that I love and one that I'm going to bring some attention to. The one I'm going to bring attention to is the annual skate. I like it because outlaw, it makes it reload really, really quickly. However, the one that I love is the old fashioned. It's got reactive reload. So it does a stupid amount of damage after you reload it after a kill. And this gun is just a lot of fun. Also the sound of it is just amazing it makes you literally feel like a cowboy if your main is mccree on overwatch this is a weapon for you plus the animation of the uh reload is just it's just different than anything else that i've seen in this game or really any other first person shooter as far as uh, aesthetic when you put any shaders on it the only thing i don't like about this gun is none honestly in my opinion none of the shaders look good at all on this weapon so make sure you pick up the old-fashioned there's a uh, honorable mention will go out to annual skate and to the one from uh, Dead Orbit that you can get this week. Both of those are nice looking weapons. However, they are not my favorites. This is definitely my favorite hand cannon that's not an exotic. Now, the next weapon we're going to look at is the Mita Multi Tool for submachine guns. There are very few submachine guns I like in this game. The Raid Machine Gun is a uh, submachine gun is actually really decent. This one, though, you will get murdered with in the Crucible. If you get good with this gun, the Mita Multi Tool should become a staple of the weapons that you're using, especially in PvP. In PvE, it can be a lot of fun, especially when you pair it with the Mita... Oh my god, hold on a second. I cannot... With the Mita itself. However, I just ripped through that dude with this. The Mita Multi-Tool does have a really good amount of stability. It has a decent amount of impact for a submachine gun, but this gun is just a lot of fun. And I just honestly like the way it looks. And the fact that it murders and tears through enemies and reloads extremely quickly is amazing. Now the last weapon we're going to look at here, Tawthorn's Field Forged Shotgun. This gun is stupid. I will give some honorable mention to the Unification, and pretty much any gun that has single-fire slug rounds. They are a lot of fun for killing bosses or killing yellow bar or orange bar enemies. However, Hawthorne's Field Forge Shotgun, for the fact that it has full auto and does such great damage, is A, amazing because of its sound, like I said, the aesthetic of it, and B, just a lot of fun to kill bosses with. You run right in and just melt the living piss out of them so if you're into shotguns this is a good one it's also a lot of fun for the crucible because of the fact that it has such a great range and because of the fact that it does such fantastic damage you will be killing your opponents very quickly with this gun and if you miss you just keep holding down that trigger anyway now this is the only exotic i'm going to put on this list only because in my opinion a lot of the exotics are very very a uh, one use only kind of one trick pony type of things where it's not something you want to use all the time except for the mid multi-tool if you're a piece of crap in the crucible just trying to like you know use a crutch you piece of sh you know what i'm talking about but this one the merciless is great for pretty much anything for the fact that it is a boss melter uh if you don't know what the merciless is the integral perk on it is if you shoot this weapon and you don't kill your opponent the next shot happens quicker and then quicker and quicker and quicker so by the fifth or sixth round this thing is firing almost instantaneously so it will melt bosses it melts in the crucible the reach or the charge time is not that long and in anything that you're doing as far as pve you come across a yellow bar enemy or a boss this thing will melt the living crap out of it by the third or fourth shot especially in any kind of a raid environment or if you're doing oh my god i totally missed that was horrible look at this for a video right in any kind of raid environment if you are trying to melt a yellow bar enemy, this thing will do it for you. Unless you don't have ammo. If you don't have ammo, it isn't doing anything. So that's my top 10 favorite weapons in Destiny 2. I'm sure there's some other weapons out there that you guys love. Hopefully this, this list gave you a weapon that you now love, that you fell in love with. So give me a like, share, and subscribe down below. Leave some comments if it gave you any of those insights. And there is one honorable mention I want to give to rocket launchers. Because in my opinion, honestly, rocket launchers are rocket launchers. However, the blue shift 
and The Sins of the Past are both amazing only because of their impact. Um, the Blast Radius is ridiculous. This one has cluster bombs. This one just does a crap load of damage and it doesn't involve you doing the raid. So both of those are good options. So like I said, give me a like, share, and subscribe down below. There is one other thing I do have to say. Cindy, happy birthday. This Cindy is my fiance. She's amazing. She's a gamer. She's one of the best players I've ever met in my entire life. And she stole my heart. So thank you for being my fiance. Happy birthday, baby. I hope you have a great one. Until next time, guys, this is Laldrin signing off. Be sure to join me every single day. Same Laldrin time, same Laldrin channel. But until then, I got a birthday to go celebrate. See you again soon. Bye.